Now, when you think about flexibility, you might think about being able to do the splits like the women behind us are doing, okay? Or the downward dog with ease. But flexibility as we age is a really big deal. It can affect our ability to reach overhead or go up and down stairs. All I want to be able to do is like tie my shoelaces over the next 20 to 30 years. So here with ways to improve our flexibility is Brent. And we're so happy you're here. You're gonna limber us up. So let's, let's talk a little bit about flexibility. Like what is flexibility and why is it important? Well, flexibility is basically your ability to move your joint through a full range of motion yeah. pain free. Right, and that's right. what we want, pain-free movement. Okay. And of course, as we get older, you know, we lose that. About 30 to 40 years old, you start to lose your flexibility and your mobility. Naturally, it happens, right. but there's things we can do to make sure that we are able to be mobile. I think flexibility yeah. and I think balance all the time. Like that's balance another one huge. we're gonna have to deal with because as you get older, when your balance is off, it's really tough. You don't wanna be out there when there's ice, like you don't wanna slip, well, so. And I'll say to that, yeah. one of the leading causes to injury and death yes. is falling. Is falling. Right? Falling, breaking bones. Yeah. So, you know, we talk about sarcopenia before, yes. age-related muscle loss. Yeah. You know, I know we're talking about flexibility today, but mm -hmm. incorporate your strength training. It's so critical. Yes. Just as the flexibility is, right? We need For to sure. maintain that lean mass. Totally. I would. I will do a deadlift and a squat any day of the week. But the the thing about the splits and the lifting overhead and all of that stuff, I need to be better about. So let's do your first move. What sure. are we going to be stretching uh, or making more flexible? We're going to work on spine mobility. So when we okay. get older, you lose the ability to. You know, your extension starts to decrease, yeah. and you all know, right. the discs between your vertebrae become right. dehydrated. Got right. it. So you, you end up So if you need to pick down. up bags and bring yeah. them inside, the groceries, your yeah. spine is not going to allow you to do that. So right. what should we right. do to, to loosen to move, it up? To, to turn, to, yes. you know, all those type of movements become much more restricted. Okay. So what we're going to do is before we go into um, anything, we're going to get into a four-point position. So okay. you're going to stack your joints, shoulder above the wrist and hip above the knee. And I'm going to get you to go, your, your hands are going to face inwards. Yeah, so fingers touch, uh, face each other. Okay. And we're going to drop into you're going to drop through the lower back yep mm, you got it it's Lift delicious the head up. okay and now we're going to bring that chin to the chest okay and as you're doing that do a light push with your hands forward like on that? that mat and you're going to feel sort of mid back you're getting all those extensors stretching out so i would do about you know 10 to 15 reps of this yeah Nice and slow, you're exhaling as you as you round the back up like a camel, you got it. It's called the cat camel stretch. And then what I like to end it with is just going into a child's pose position. Oh yeah, right? We're baby. gonna drop right back, you got it. I wish this was the whole workout. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so good. Okay, so we've loosened up our spine. What other area of our body do we need to make sure we keep flexible? Yeah, one of the most important is the hips, oh, right? We talked about gait and, you know, and, and, and shuffle. You know, we get into, you get older, you start to shuffle more. You lose right. that mobility through the hip joint. Yes. So one of the biggest things is to stretch through the hip flexors. Okay. Okay. So getting into this position, you can do this also standing if you can't get onto your knees. Yeah. You know, but uh, just as effective. But the first thing here, you want to go into a posterior pelvic tilt. So that's okay. pubic bone to belly button. Yeah. And doing that action, you probably feel the stretch just I by do, doing that, right? Because I'm a big archer. So a lot of people me, I are. have to be very intentional about scooping it yeah. under. It's, it's less about this, you know, leaning back, getting yes. a lot of uh, movement through the low back. It's yeah. more about the hip coming that's up. That's right. Okay, and then we're going to bring that same side hand yeah. uh, to the knee that's down. Yeah, and then just a gentle lean, and you're going to feel that stretch intensify a little bit. Now, when you have tight hips, the amount of things you can't do are tremendous. Tremendous. Getting so, up and down, getting off the toilet. Getting off the <laughs> you know, toilet, like simple things walking that, up the stairs, exactly. like all of these things, you actually need loose hips in order to keep that like fluidity exactly. happening and that movement happening and yeah. you want to be able to get up and down and your stairs. And another thing that people don't realize is if you have really tight hip flexors, that also does pull on your lumbar. It does. And uh, you know, you can get back pain and all that, of course, right. the associated sitting all the time that we all do. That's right. You know, so really important, regardless of your age, to stretch out those hip flexors. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So we have done our spine. We have done our hips. What else do we want? Elusive. We're going to go into the shoulder. So yes. not as impacted as the lower body with age, but right. the shoulder does lose mobility. Yes. Um, and what we do here is you're going to stretch through the, the pecs and anterior delts, so the yeah. front of the shoulder. So you're going to get one hand extended. Okay. Yeah. Other hand's just palm down, and we're just going to keep that elbow slightly bent of the arm that's extended, and you're going to gently rotate away from that. Yeah. 
Shoulder okay. goes towards the ground, feel that? Yeah, I feel it. And you got to think about like putting all of the, the, the slow cooker back on the top shelf. There you go, yes. If your shoulder, if you don't have shoulder mobility, you can't even get your hands overhead. Yeah, so. or even washing your back in the shower, you know, being able yes. to reach behind without, oh without pain or, or, or uh, decrease in mobility. Not giving up in the middle of a shampoo. Yeah, exactly. Or a blow dry. It's like, I can't do it anymore. It's too much. I don't have much of that problem myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're lucky that way. Listen, talk to me a little bit about when to do and which kind of stretches to do when. So I have Very a hard time question. incorporating the stretches into my like hardcore workouts, but yep. what kind of stretch do you do before you work out? What kind of stretch do you do after? Well, think of it this way. It's, it's about movement prep. So pre-workout is going to be dynamic stretching. So moving okay. through range of motion, yeah. you know, shoulder circles, the lunges, things like that. Right. And then post is going to be more of the passive stretching like we've just done here. Got it. Because after the workout, you've, you know, circulation to the muscles, your muscles are much more pliable and you're yeah. going to benefit from that stretch a lot more. Doing passive stretching before you work out you could actually injure yourself it's because your muscles are cold. It's counterproductive, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, and yeah. you should be sort of trying to replicate the movements you're going to be doing That's in your right. workout you're getting with your joints, your... your tendons, everything ready for that activity you're about to do. Now, for you in the audience, uh, if you're looking for how much you should do when, Brent, when do you? When should we be doing these openers? Uh, you could do it pre. You could do it after your workout. But I mean, if we're just sitting at home on the couch basis, and we're not even going to the gym. Yeah, I mean, just take take a, a commercial break if you're watching TV. Yeah. Go through some of these stretches, or do it while you're watching TV. Right. The, the point is, just like anything, it's consistency. If That's you're doing right. it on a regular basis, you're going to notice a big difference in terms of your mobility. Absolutely.